New tonight at 11, an online encounter leads to a 12-year-old Metro Atlanta child being lured out of her parents' home. And authorities say the child was kidnapped and sexually assaulted before she was rescued a state away. James Reynolds of Ackworth was just sentenced to 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to federal court in federal court to kidnapping. And tonight, he's also facing several charges tied to this horrific crime in state court. Now, this investigation is, is serving as a chilling reminder of who our children could be talking to online right under our noses. Tonight, 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live in Barrow County right now where authorities uh, has taken this child into custody. So, Cody, we have covered this child's disappearance, but until night, we never actually knew what happened to her. That's right, Ron. This is a textbook case of why when a child goes missing, despite the circumstances, you put every resource into finding them. Because in this case, while she was rescued within 24 hours, this man stole her innocence from her and he found her in the walls of her parents' home. Obviously, the, a parent's worst nightmare. It was May 2020. Mom wakes up the next morning, child's disappeared. Barrow County Sheriff Judd Smith says the 12 year old had been talking online to a man in his early 20s. For whatever reason, she may not have been getting the attention she wanted at home or at school or at church or wherever she was going. And this guy did, and he's the dream come true. When in reality, it's a nightmare. His name, James Anthony Reynolds. He drove from Ackworth 70 miles away to the child's home in Bethlehem. Lured her out of the home. She climbed out of a window, gets in the car with him. He drugs her. In just a matter of seconds. It was a trap. Sheriff Smith says he drove the child back to his home in Ackworth, sexually assaulted her, then drove almost 90 miles across the state line to Chattanooga, Tennessee, where they ended up in a Walmart parking lot. Thank the Lord for this employee. That Walmart employee noticing something just wasn't right. And realized, let me call 911, and the Chattanooga Police Department shows up. They quickly realize this child has been kidnapped. Rescued nearly 24 hours after being taken. We don't know what his intent was. Uh, he, he never really did say, but I mean, lucky that, you know, she's even still with us. Sheriff Smith, who's a parent himself, hopes this case will serve as a wake up call. I urge parents, get involved in your kids, ask them those tough questions, have those tough conversations with them. Be a parent, not a friend. Since Reynolds did cross the state line with this victim, the FBI took over the case and the U.S. Attorney's Office prosecuted him. We're glad to see the justice was served for that little girl. Still, she has a long road ahead of her, Cody. Thank you.